hope you guys are doing good today. Um, today's Q&A is just all about scheduling and um, what to keep in mind when you are trying to plan your um, your work. So as a full-time artist, I guess I'll just use myself as a quick example. But um, just for my um, commissions, I need to keep in mind the time that it's going to take me to create a drawing, um, the time that it's going to take for me to um, keep the um, or convert the videos um, into the files that I want to be able to edit them in the software that I have to create a time lapse or whatever video I'm trying to create. So I need to keep editing times in. Um, in mind. I also um, like to take my drawings to a scanner and then they will um, scan it, they'll print it and then they'll do th what they call test stripping um, so that the print and the original colors match exactly. So that's quite a process in itself depending on how complicated the drawing is. So that can take anything from a week to three weeks of time just spending um, at the scanners. So I need to keep that in mind. And then when I receive it back um, and I can finally post it off to the client, I need to keep the postage times in mind. So you can't, you need to keep in mind that the creation of the drawing might be a lot quicker than the time it's going to take for the um, customer to finally receive their um, commission or their print or whatever it is. So. Um, that's just one thing to keep in mind. It's, it's not just the time it takes to create a drawing that you need to tell people about. You also need to tell them how long the processing is going to take um, before they could actually have it in their hands. Now, um, just in terms of literally scheduling and planning, I like to um, make my bookings um, according to um, a week so weekly bookings and if it's a really large piece then I'll obviously give it two to three weeks of drawing time so that's the only thing that I would um, plan way in advance or schedule in advance is just my bookings otherwise I only schedule three to four days ahead of time I don't schedule any more than that because it will always always change and um, it's not it isn't nice to have to change a huge schedule all the time. So what I like to do is I just like to take just a weekly planner like this. I know there's nothing on there at the moment. I'm about to fill it all in. But have a weekly planner like this and just plan two to three days in advance. Um, because if something changes in a day that you don't have control over, you realize that your drawing is going to take you longer or you realize that you might finish quicker, then it's easier to adjust the next few days according to that. And then you will always also realize that if something's going to take you a longer amount of time, you have the ability to um, let others know if that if they need to know. If they need to know that things might take you a bit longer, then at least you can give them a heads up about it because you will be able to um, tell. So I think scheduling and planning is extremely important because it keeps you on track with your goals, it keeps you on track with consistency, um, it makes you familiar with how long things are going to take you in, um, in all the stages of making the drawing to getting the drawing to the client. That's um, just things to keep in mind. It's not just the time to create, it's um, everything else besides that. So um, this is also something that you would have to or you would want to um, write down when people make bookings. So if you have a website and you have some sort of disclosure or terms and conditions or whatever the case may be, make sure that you state in there how long things can take and what, um, what sort of process it takes. Um, for you because then people are just aware of that and that you can't get into any sort of trouble because the last thing you want is to, for a customer to say to you you've taken this long um, it's taken this long before I got it I didn't receive it the time that I wanted it um, and everything and then you know you feel obliged to give them some sort of discount or refund and that and it just doesn't leave you on a good page with the client and no one wants that everyone wants that clients or followers to um, be a hundred percent satisfied with what you are able to 
to give them because you want them to come back or you want them to spread the word so it's very important so um, that's just something to keep in mind those are things I also didn't realize until much later in the beginning I wouldn't schedule my time so I found that it would take me a lot longer to actually finish something because I wasn't planning um, everything correctly um, and I also wasn't trying to set a set amount of time every single day or sometimes I'd just be lazy and I wouldn't fulfill what I planned for that day and then it will drag out for a bit longer so it does take time to get into the swing of your schedule so gradually um, add more and more don't just give yourself a full-on schedule straight away from the beginning because you wouldn't be able to cope with that and then you would just feel disappointed that you weren't able to achieve your personal goals so um just so yeah just um keep all those things in mind and then the more you schedule yourself into things and the more you achieve that um the better uh you feel because you've achieved those goals and you also um are able to show people what you're able to to do which is what you want Okay, I hope I didn't blabber on too much. I know that that kind of was a bit all over the place. But um, I just want you guys to know that it is important to plan these things because you're setting yourself personal goals. You're showing people that you can keep um, some sort of consistency and it allows people to keep coming back because they know what you've planned, you know what you've planned and you know what you're able to cope with. So um, those are all very good things for you and will only benefit you in the future. So um, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.